Hey beautiful, it's Darby and welcome to my channel. Today I'm showing you guys what is on my iPhone 5. So in about a week, the new iPhone um, 7 is releasing and I'm going to be getting that one because my contract's off. But I just wanted to show you guys what's on my iPhone 5 before I get the new phone because I'll probably be changing apps. So I just want to show you guys all the apps that I have, what I use them for, what I think you could use the apps for and how they're useful in my life and so on and so forth. So this is what my iPhone looks like currently. This is how I have all my apps set up and I want to go into each individual app and show you guys what I use them for. So let's begin. So this is what my phone obviously looks like. It's the iPhone 5 and when you go to open my phone, my screensaver is just a picture of Ian and I in Vegas and I just love this picture of us and every time I turn on my phone it just makes me nice and happy. So this is what my home screen looks like. At the bottom here I have messages, camera, photos and music and these are the four apps that I use the most so I have them always on my home screen and then I have phone, settings, clock, calendar, context, app store, notes, weather, calendar and then I have this little folder here with a bunch of extras that I'll never use but you have to keep them on the phone because they come with your phone. Beside that I have another folder with a bunch of more junk and then I have maps, FaceTime and then podcasts. So if you haven't opened your podcast app yet, I definitely suggest you give it a try. These are my podcasts right here. I love the Tim Ferriss show. Um, these are my 22 episodes that I've listened to, and I'll leave a couple of my favorite ones down below in the description bar. But instead of listening to music these days in my car, whether I'm driving to work, the grocery store, a friend's house, a road trip, I listen to podcasts with my boyfriend who got me into it. And it's just so inspiring. You're getting educated on your way to work, and it's just a fun, intelligent way to... Um, have fun and listen to something new in your car and be educated on a new subject every single day. Beside that in the same category is Audible. So this is just audiobooks. So they just read out the book to you. Super easy. So fun to listen to you in your car. And you can just look online on a coupon code to get your first book free. But after that, you do have to pay. But it's pretty cheap and I think it's definitely worth it. So definitely give that up a try. On the second page here, some of my basics at the top that you guys would already know, like Safari, Gmail, you know, Instagram, YouTube, and then there's Studio. I'm not going to show you what's inside Studio because it's pretty personal. It's my YouTube analytics, so how much money I make and my views and all that kind of thing. But the box beside it is called Social Media. So these are all the apps that I use to edit my Instagram pictures and that kind of thing. So the first one is called PicFX. So I'm just going to choose a random picture here. Sorry, there's so many random pictures <laughs> But what you do is push don't crop if you don't want to crop it into a square. I pick the second one always and then about the five first filters are my favorite ones and you'll probably recognize that from my YouTube feed. These are how I kind of edit all my pictures and I love it and I've used it for years and years. It's an amazing app. You should definitely download it. And then beside that I have Square Ready. So this is what the app looks like when you open it. You just click this button on the top and then your pictures pop up. I'm just going to click the randomest picture, a book I'm currently reading. And there's three buttons at the bottom. Depending what aesthetic you're looking for in your Instagram feed, you can add kind of a border around your pictures. So you can kind of play with that. So that's that app. And then we have Express, so this is for yoga instructors or fitness instructors or fitness students and it just kind of keeps track of all your classes, how many people are in your classes, the days of the week they're on and just set reminders if you want. Awesome app here. And then we have Blur Box. So this is if you have kind of a rectangular picture and you want your feed to be square, you just go and pick a random picture. I'm just going to pick this one that I screenshotted because I'm ordering this dress. But anyway, you just can put either dark on the outside or light and it kind of just blurs out the outside of your picture so your picture is square and fits in your square feed. And then we have Pick Lab. So this is where you can edit your pictures in a bunch of different ways. So I'm just going to pick a random picture um, like this and you can do a bunch of different things. You can add stickers, you can add text, you can do a million different things on this app. And I'm just going to show you how you add text. So you can say I'm doing a lookbook for YouTube. Usually I'd edit it on the computer, but say I was in a rush and I didn't have a computer. You can put this anywhere on your picture and you can also change the font. There's a bunch of different things you can do in this app. So definitely check that one out. And then we have Frametastic. So I've had this app for years. It's just to make collages. So like for your friend for her birthday or whatever, just sending a bunch of funny pictures of you guys together in one picture. Um, but yeah, literally I'm using the most weird pictures right now, making the weirdest collage. But you guys get the idea of how you kind of organize them. So this is Frametastic. And then, of course, I have Netflix, so whenever I'm getting ready, I like to watch Netflix with the phone right in front of me. And then beside that app, I have Square Video. 
So say you have a video that's rectangular and you want it to have kind of a square aesthetic just like your feed, you're just going to pick your video. Sorry, this is the last one that was in my video library. And then you can select a background color, which usually I just do white, but you can choose any one of these colors. And then you can view a preview. So see, it's still your rectangular video, but it's in a square picture. And then beside that, I just have my GoPro app so I can connect my GoPro with Bluetooth right to my phone directly. And then of course I have Snapchat, Pinterest, Facebook, my Coast Capital account. And then we have Shazam. So this has been a lifesaver for me for my classes. So whenever I'm listening to a good song and I can't remember the words or I just feel like I'm not going to remember, I just click this button and immediately it will attract the song that you're listening to and store it away for later so you can download it. Then I have Messenger of course and then this is a cool, cool app. I don't really know how to pronounce that name, but whatever you guys saw, and I'll leave it in the description bar. And see at the bottom right hand corner, you see a little Instagram sign. So that's my current feed I have on Instagram. So you download it with that. And then there's a bunch of boxes up here that you can test out what would look good with your feed. So if you're thinking of uploading a picture and to want your theme and aesthetic on your Instagram to look good, you can kind of see a preview of what it would look like. So you can see those three pictures up there I haven't uploaded yet, but I may be thinking of uploading them so I can just see the full kind of theme of it and see if those pictures would go with it. Then we have ViscoCam. So ViscoCam is just a great editing tool. You can just pick one of your pictures here. You can put these two lines at the bottom and you can pick a filter. And then these are some of my favorite filters. So I'm just going to pick one here and then click this bottom bar, click those two dots again, and then you can change the exposure of it. You can change the contrast of it, whatever you want. Just make it a little bit more sharp. You can add a tint to it, whatever you feel. Um, looks best with your picture. I'm just kind of fooling around with it just to show you guys right now. And then the last app I have on my phone is Life With Me, Mariana Hewitt's app. So this is just all her blog posts and she just has an app so it's easy to always have her new updates on each of her blog posts. Okay, beautiful. So that was everything that's on my iPhone 5. I'm super excited to get the iPhone 7. Hopefully it's going to be amazing as everyone says. And thank you guys so much for watching. If you did like this video, make sure to give it a big thumbs up and please subscribe down to my channel if you haven't already. And I just want to say thank you guys for watching my video. Thank you for supporting me and we'll see you in my next video. Bye. Stomach